Hello, and welcome to February's uh, video update here from the mayor's office. I'll just touch on a few important things happening. Um, yesterday, first I'll start by saying that yesterday I held my State of the City speech uh, at the listening room downtown, but it was held virtually. Uh, it was about a 30 minute speech and you're welcome to watch the whole thing if you'd like. It's on uh, my Facebook page, uh, as well as there's a few other links available that you can find also um, through my Twitter page. Uh, again, this is something I do every single year. Uh, remind everyone it's not taxpayer funded and so I appreciate all the sponsors who helped make that happen and everyone who joined me virtually for the event. Uh, a couple things I touched on that we'll be focusing on this year, uh, some of my priorities but also priorities of the City Commission uh, and that is to implement an evidence-based violence prevention program so I touch on that in the speech. I also talk about my desire to build up our affordable housing fund with millions of dollars and we're looking at options on how we can potentially do that. A big effort that we will launch this year is going to be our master planning process. So our master plan hasn't been updated in 20 years. This is an incredibly important process where we will work with thousands of community members to come together as we think about how do we plan for our city's future growth. So we'll be launching that in the next couple months and I'll keep you updated about progress on that front and ways that you can get engaged and weigh in. Uh, and then last I talked about how do we continue to support our local economy as we live through this pandemic together and have so many businesses that are still being impacted. So I talked about a pilot program that the city has launched it's a hyper uh, local uh, purchasing program. So we increased our bid discount from 3% to 9% for locally owned businesses. And I'm encouraging uh, companies to do the same. So in partnership with the Michigan Economic Development Corporation, we launched a program called Grand Sourcing, where hopefully we'll be able to connect large businesses with locally owned uh, service providers and goods providers and get some of those large companies to shift their procurement and purchasing dollars to local businesses. So we're in the process of recruiting large companies to join us in the effort because we believe if all of us make that effort, it'll have a huge impact on our local economy. A couple other things, at our last city commission meeting we received a budget update. Um, unfortunately, as of right now, we are experiencing some pretty significant budget shortfalls because of a reduction in income taxes, uh, again due to the pandemic. So we're working closely with our partners at the state and other income tax cities to try to find a short-term fix for that, uh, but it'll make going into our budget discussions uh, uh, quite a bit more challenging this year, which we'll be doing next, in the next couple months. We have a July 1 uh, budget, so we'll be spending uh, pretty much all of April and May working on our budget. Uh, at our, our commission meeting on Tuesday, so we meet again on Tuesday, we will be having a couple updates. So we'll have a mid-year management update, so we'll get an update from all of our departments and our city manager about how we're doing to reach our goals that are laid out in our strategic plan. And then we'll also have an economic forecast update. Um, so again, our commission meetings, our committee of the whole meets on Tuesday mornings at 10 a.m. and our evening meetings are at seven. Um, two final things, uh, we, just, we just launched, sorry about that, uh, we just launched a uh, initiative to try to get more regular feedback from the community through a survey called Flash Vote. Uh, so please sign up for that. Uh, it just takes a couple minutes. We'll be sending out questions to the community to hopefully as many people throughout the community as possible so that we have broad-based feedback on important city issues. So you can sign up for that and we'll be sending out texts and emails and asking for your input on current city issues. Uh, again, you can find more information about that on the city's website or on my Facebook page. Uh, and then last, there is still time to enjoy World of Winter. So that has been extended and goes through February 28th. We also extended uh, ice skating at our Rose Park Circle. So continue to get out there, even though I know it's cold, bundle up and get out and enjoy this beautiful season. Uh, with that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the month.